AD, how the heck are you doing? What's up, man? How you doing? Oh, I'm not too shabby. Not too shabby. This is crazy. Yeah. Um, but I guess you got to find the best parts of it, you know? Yeah. Take advantage of it. Right, absolutely. I mean, the new normal now is us communicating uh, virtually. Uh, obviously, with the NWSL having its season suspended, MLS is suspended, um, all activities you know, for training as well. There's a moratorium. Uh, so you know, how are you dealing with these, these challenges right now? Well, uh, talking with my wife not too long ago, um, you know, basically with U.S. national team, we've been on the road quite a bit. Um, we had two camps and that are tournament play. And, I mean, we were gone for at least 20 days in each of those. And so, like, out of 70 days, like, we were gone for 55. And so the fact that, like, I'm able to be home, not everybody is able to be home if they're in market. Um, you know, I'm kind of blessed in that aspect. And so basically all the time I've been gone, I'm just now doing house projects with the wife because she's got a honey-do list for me. So, <laughs> <laughs> As we were talking about earlier, one of the, the unintended consequences of being at home, right? Yeah. You have things you have to do, and uh, when your wife tells you what you got to do, you got to do them, right? Absolutely. Happy life, happy life. That's right. And congratulations. Uh, recently married to your wife, Emily. Uh, that's awesome to hear. Um, also, just curious, are, are you able to stay in touch with your teammates now that you obviously you can't be at the training center and um, you know, you're know you not around the team as much? Are you guys getting together on some chats uh, socially, you know, virtually in any way? Um, I'm, I'm sure there's many of them. Honestly, this last week I've been out in the yard for, you know, quite every other time that I'm not doing my training. I'm literally in the yard for like 10 hours of the day, um, <laughs> which has been beautiful and I absolutely enjoy it. And it's been beautiful here in Portland, except yeah. today's kind of raining, but that's, that's normal. But a whole entire week of sun, like... I, I really couldn't complain. Yeah, it's unheard of this time of year, isn't it? And and what exactly are you doing out there in the yard? You want to check it out? I would love to see it, please. Uh, let's see. I, I I'll uh, I think it's it's not raining right now, so I'll put my flip flops on and see if I can. Ooh, a little sun too. Sorry about the background. If you see some of the house, it's a little messy because that's the other stuff I got to take care of. <laughs> All good. So some of the yard work that I've been doing is I started a, a big garden last year, so I had to get it ready for this year. And in doing so. Wow. Got all the beds kind of ready. Holy moly. You got, <laughs> what, five, six planters there? Uh, yeah, six total. So we have the, uh, the lettuce bed. That's, I think, has 15 different varieties of, of lettuce. Our garlic that um, overwintered and is now starting to pop up, so that's kind of nice. Um, this will be basically our kale bed. Under here, I tried to do, um, we had peppers last year, and you can overwinter them, and they'll reproduce ne the next year, but they really don't like to be uh deal with frost at all so sure. we'll see if they survive survived at all so i'm hoping this greenhouse helped a little bit and then the ones so right now hopefully they're just in dormant state yeah which is hibernation basically. right um and hopefully they come back i don't know they could be dead amazing yeah <laughs> wow you yeah. you've done well for yourself out there what do you have what's the last one you got we got like uh, radishes, beans, um, onions, broccoli, kale over in that one. This one will have tomatoes, celery, and potentially um, uh, carrots. Wow. But the big big one this year is this guy. Whoa. That looks important. What do you have over there? Last year we did all vegetables, so I wanted to add to it. And so this year we're going to try to do some, like, raspberries, blackberries, uh, 
some blueberries, jelly bean blueberries, more blueberries, more blueberries. And we'll get some grapes going. Wow. So hope it works out. I don't know. I'm still learning, experimenting. <laughs> now, is this the, your first year uh, doing this, uh, this, this kind of scope of this kind of project, or have you guys had some experience in the past? Well, with the, the fruit, this will be our first year. The vegetables were last year. Okay. Uh, but, yeah, I built this throughout last week, and hopefully it comes together and it works and it doesn't fall apart and mm -hmm. everything starts growing. Well, I'll tell you what. <laughs> it's it's impressive what you're doing. I, I don't think I need to go to the, the grocery store anymore. I'm just going to come to your house and grab you know grab everything you, you grow. You know, six, six, six feet, feet of though, distance. Right? Okay. Just leave it on the porch for me, all right? <laughs> all right. <laughs> well, that's awesome. Well, thank you for showing showing us the garden. It looks amazing. What are you doing in terms of your fitness? How, how are you you know staying fit when you're not able to to be with the national team, be with the Thorns? Yeah, so we are able to go out to a field. Um, as, you know, same thing, six six foot foot distance, and um, so. We try to get out and get a little bit of touches in. It's a little bit harder with um, being a goalkeeper. Um, uh, there was a, a post that I posted a while back, and my my wife, when she was younger, was a goalkeeper. So uh, she likes to kick soccer balls at me. So I let her do some volleys for me. Great. Um, and then we love we love to go on runs. We have a few bikes here. So I mean, she's a cyclist. So um, hopefully, we'll get a good ride in when the sun comes back out. And I do have a barbell, so do landmine type stuff, landmine right. circuits. That's kind of nice. Right, right. Really, that's then everything. Else, you know, using what you have. I, I, I think I saw a post of you, and you were using your kids to squat and push ups, right? And bench press, and all that. <laughs> Anything. I think we could probably do alternating Ooh. dumbbells with them. Yeah, I hadn't thought about using the cats, but uh, you also can use them too, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, it's amazing, right? What what you have to do to, to stay fit sometimes. You don't, you know, you're not, you know, in your usual environment, isn't it? So, yeah, that's awesome. Um, I've, I'm going to finish up here. I've got some questions for you that I think would okay. be really cool to hear uh, your answers to. I'm calling this my four four two plus one because let's be honest. When you put out a formation, it includes the goalkeeper, right? Does so, it? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, know, you never know. I mean, some goalkeepers are more aggressive than others, I guess. It just depends on where they end up in the 18-yard box. But, uh, all right, so basically the first four are pretty easy. They're layups, right? You should be able to just knock them out. The next four, a little bit more like medium size questions. Uh, final two, very difficult, I think. And then the last one is just like a bonus question. So are you ready to go? No pressure. I mean, you just listed all what the like expectation is, kind of. So yeah. we'll see. We'll see how it I goes. Know. Well, I know you're a competitor, and I know you can handle this. So let's rock and roll. Here we go. All right. First four. Favorite food? Italian. Or Fa do you want exact? One? No, it's. I'll take exact. What else have we got in there? Uh. Um. Oh my goodness. Clam. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I'm I'm completely blanking on it. Oh, these are the easy ones, AD. Um, Come on. <laughs> with white clam sauce, but I can't remember the name of it. Chalpino. Okay. Okay. Next, Next one. No. Favorite song. <laughs> what are? How are these supposed to be easy? They're easy, right? Come on. You got like you know your go-to before a game. You're like, I gotta hear this song. Oh, it changes. Okay. Uh, don't make fun of me, but it's <laughs> neighbors know my name. Okay. That's, I, I won't, oh, um, I, maybe not for for kids. Sure. Well, not for kids. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll play that one when my kids go down. <laughs> All right. Favorite movie. I'm stumping you on easy ones. Holy moly. <laughs> no, I don't even want to get shit. We're not doing the rest of the formation. Like, <laughs> we're just hanging out. <laughs> um, oh, man. 
favorite movie. Um, probably right now, uh, Coco. Coco. Gotcha. Okay. Favorite book. This is the last four of the four of the easy ones. Easy ones. Easy ones. <laughs> so it's tough to, if I'm going to be honest, I haven't read um, any like books for fun okay. in a while. Yep. Um, last year I was in school, yep. so I was reading a lot of textbooks and some were, um, so probably one of my favorite ones within my classes was probably Happy Money. Okay. Um, so that was that was an interesting one. It was kind of like your relationship with money a little bit. Happy Money. And okay. so, I mean, it's, pre it's pretty good right now trying to figure out, you know, the economy right. and everything of just no like kidding. your relationship with money, like what makes you happy, why you do th certain things, and yeah. could you change that, like. All these different things. Yeah, so right. I'd say happy money right now. I love it. And congratulations on getting your degree. Uh, that's fantastic. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of awesome Thanks. things happened in your life in the last uh, year or so. Not like you went to a World Cup and got a gold medal either. Not a gold medal, a championship. <laughs> Won a championship, got a gold medal, yeah. So congratulations. That's, that's, thank you very yeah. much. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. So we got the first four out of the way. Not as quick as I was I was thinking, but very well thought out, AD. That's how we roll with you. Um, <laughs> all right, next four. You ready for them? This is like your engine room. This, okay. is, this is your midfield. This is kind of like what, what just gets you going throughout the day. All right, so if you weren't a pro soccer player, what would you be? Well, now that, that's an easy one because I love gardening. I didn't realize how much I was going to love it, but I started doing it. Like, I mean, the wife wanted – um, to do a couple plants, her mom brought some starts down for us, and we did it one year, and we're like, oh, we enjoy this. And then she said she wanted a, a garden bed, and I gave her six. And <laughs> now I'm upset with it. So I'd probably be a gardener. Gotcha. Okay. Love it. Uh, what is the best way to start the day? Yeah, tell me, don't tell me it was not recording. The, the, the second one, the second one didn't record. I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right, we're going to start with favorites in the 442, back four. Favorite food. I'm going to pretend like I haven't heard this one before. I'm going to pretend like I don't know what your favorite food is. from Piazza Italia. Oh. Favorite board game? Monopoly, because I like taking people's money. Favorite movie? <laughs> Animation Coco from Disney. Favorite book? Happy Money from School that I read recently. Man, you flew through those, AD. Look at you. Both. <laughs> The back four, easy. Back four. She's got a good relationship with the back four. We know this. That's why she's. That's why she's a two-time NWSL goalkeeper of the year. Okay. Um, the next four midfield. If you were not a, a pro soccer player, what would you be? Probably a gardener. Now that I found out, I have a very deep passion for gardening. <laughs> What is the best way to start the day? You got to make your bed. I think Practical. you really got to make your bed because once you like don't make your bed, you go through your entire day, you come home, and then you realize that your entire day, what happened? Because you didn't make your bed. It's just so practical. Then there is a book about that. How to make I'll your bed. Some. Yes. I'll add that to my list here yeah. at home. I'll, I'll send that to you. All right. What is the most interesting place you have visited? Uh, today, 
in Tenerife uh, in the Canary Islands. <laughs> hey, why? That's where I realized I am seriously afraid of heights. <laughs> <laughs> The, the wife asked me to go on a hike. I said, okay. Um, and it wasn't a, it wasn't fun for me. I just kept my head down. I didn't even enjoy the view. I was just like, drive, 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 step, step, step. And then we got really close to the top and my body just stopped. <laughs> I was like, babe, I'm not going to make it. She's like, it's okay. It's okay. And then my competitiveness came out a little bit. And I saw people walking past me. I mean, the space was like the sp- like how big a sidewalk is. Sure. So, I mean, unless I really was messing around, that's how I would fall. But either way, people started passing, and I was just like, I have to go to the top. I have to go. They can't go to the top and I not make it. So somehow my body started moving again. We got up. I said, cool, we're here. I went right back down. <laughs> There's something about that, isn't it? When somebody, when you're a professional athlete, you're like, I cannot allow this to happen. I will not let these people pass me. I'm going for it. Dig deep. It, it happened so often in our lives, I feel like. I mean, I just, I, I decided to commute one time to a stadium and somebody on those like Nike Bike Town bikes was passing me. And I was just like, <laughs> oh no, we have a problem. Yeah. You could tell that they only, it, like commuting is a little bit different like when you commute on a regular or this is what my wife told me because she's a cyclist. She was like, it's okay. These people who are bike by, by commuting all the time, they're, they're, they have the endurance for it. I'm like, I have endurance? Yeah. What do you think I'm doing every day, right? I'm not just showing up to sit at a desk. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> who has inspired you to be better? Does it have to be one person? It does not. All right. Well, I'm going to go with my family, my wife. Well, that's considered family. My best friends and teammates. Okay. So pretty much everybody that's not a stranger. Even some strangers inspire me too. Okay. Good. Well, because, you know, the kids that we walk out with, you know, yeah. in our ha- with our hands, they're strangers to me. Yeah. But then I'm... Yeah. And they inspire me. I like that. So, everybody. Okay. Well, it's beautiful <laughs> because then you just walk outside, you get get on a phone call with me. Hey, you're inspired. I love it. <laughs> yeah, I definitely don't inspire you with my my technical incapabilities. All right, two more for you, Ad. Two more, and I'm gonna let you go and live your life. All right. Okay. Um, <laughs> if you could turn any activity into an Olympic sport. What would that activity be? I'm still stuck on the lawn care that I've been doing. <laughs> the amount of yes. shoveling the wheelbarrow and taking the wheelbarrow, dumping the wheelbarrow, taking it back, shoveling it again. My body is exhausted. <laughs> I went for a run the other day and I was like, why am I so tired? And it's because of how many wheelbarrows of mulch I've been taking all over the yard. That, that work <laughs> is no joke. <laughs> no doubt about that. Um, if there was, yeah, there. <laughs> if there's one skill that you would want to master, what would it be? I want to say gardening. They have like a master gardening thing, and you can become a master gardener. Oh, they do. Cool. Yeah. Are you Are you a part of it? No. I, I am not. I, I don't have a green thumb in me. No, no, no part of me. <laughs> yeah. But I'm going to get away from the gardening a little bit. But it's still kind of part of it because, well, carpentry or woodworking, that yeah. little, little bit of that. I yeah. think like building the arbor and the garden beds, that's been a lot of fun. So I think I'd want to tap into that a little bit. Yeah. yeah. DIY, practical stuff. You, you're going to have no problems, AD. Post-career, you got gardening. You're going to be putting, you're going to be building houses. You're going to be, you know, making your bed first thing in the morning. You got all the, you know. Uh, <laughs> all like right. Sure that, you know, I'm married to an Italian wife. Um, yeah. And so, you know, something that they like to have on hand is wine. Uh, so I did make her a wine rack. Oh, wow. That is impressive. You made that? Yeah. Oh man, 
That is so cool. Did you, so you cut all the wood? Did you uh, have to stain it and everything? Yeah, I ended up uh, painting it. So I like cut these um, little pieces so they were all um, aligned. Ended up like nailing them. I'm not even know if I'm showing you. Yeah, I, yeah. I nailed stuff in, like did a little bit of wood glue, um, and then just cut these up to size, and then, yeah. I oh, don't it's know. beautiful. It, it, it just fits that space so nicely, and you got all your wine <laughs> well, right there. Didn't, didn't originally. I messed up on my uh, uh, measurements originally and had okay. to come back to it. Sure. But, again, it's – that's the yeah. mastering. You got to work on that. Right. You got to practice, I guess. Yeah, do overs, right? <laughs> we we always got to get our do overs in, as is the theme of the day for me here. Um, well, last question for you, Ad. It's learning. <laughs> oh man, you're awesome. All right, last question for you, because oh. we got to include the goalkeeper in the four four two. All right, I'm in. I'm in. Put me in, coach. Okay. What would be your spirit animal if you had one? Ooh, white tiger. Well, that's my favorite animal. Okay. Uh, I think my spirit animal used to be a black panther. And part of that is because um, an announcer, when I went and made a save, and I got my hand to the ball, she's like, she got a full paw on that one. <laughs> and it was interesting. And then at the time, um, Nike had the black palm on the gloves. Yep. And so I was like, oh, black, black paw, full, yeah, okay. That could work. Yeah, but no longer the Black Panther. We're with White Tiger now. White Tiger, White Tiger's my jam. Okay, I love it. Well, there you go. Thank you so much, Ad. You are so awesome to to spend your time with me today. Um, yeah, really, really good stuff. Is there anything you want to say to uh, all the Thorn supporters and all the U.S. Women's National Team supporters out there? Stay safe. Take care of yourself. Uh, take care of your family. Um, understand that everything that you do affects other people. So when you take care of yourself and um, you listen to the health guidelines and everything like that, you're saving lives. You're helping other people. So we appreciate you. We always appreciate your support and love you all. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, AD. I appreciate your time and stay safe and we'll talk to you soon. Appreciate it. Thanks, Matt. <laughs>